Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Rebecca from Learning Together by Grace. We are going to make some old fashioned pancakes. However, I'm going to make them vegan. So, I'm gonna start off by making a flax egg. Being that I'm doubling this recipe, I'm actually going to do two flax eggs. So in order to do that, you need one tablespoon of flaxseed, or I have ground flaxseed, and then either two, you can do either two to two and a half tablespoons of water per flax egg, depending on the consistency that you want. All right, I'm just gonna stir that up, and I'm going to allow it to sit for about five minutes. Next up, I'm going to make some buttermilk using my oat milk. Um, it's not gonna be real buttermilk, but that's okay. I'm gonna use vinegar to give it that consistency that you would kind of get with buttermilk. You can use oat milk, you can use coconut milk, you can use almond milk, whatever milk alternative that you like to use. So I'm going to, this calls for one and one fourth cups of milk, so I'm gonna go with two and a half cups. And then I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of vinegar and allow it to curdle. In the meantime, I'm gonna go make my bacon. I'll be back. All right, y'all, I am back. We have allowed our milk and our egg to sit. It's been probably about 10 minutes. But now we're gonna go in with the dry ingredients and it is calling for one and a half cups of flour, but because I'm doubling it, I'm going to do three cups of flour and I'm actually going to sift my flour to make it fluffy. So I'm just gonna add it to this little sifter and just tap it out. Come look at it, it's pretty. I love that. It's soothing to me. It's so worth it. <laughs> it takes a little extra time, but I think just being able to see how pretty that is, is so worth it to me. It's like snow cascading on the mountaintop, right? Yeah. Okay, so this is my last cup, and it actually tells me to sift my baking soda and my salt and sugar together. What I'm gonna do is take half of this, so about half of the flour, and sift it and then save the last of it to sift those ingredients in there. So I'm gonna go in with, it's calling for a fourth cup of, uh, sorry. <laughs> it's calling for a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. So that means basically a half a teaspoon, so to double it up. And then I'm gonna go in with two tablespoons of sugar. It calls for one for the regular recipe. So it's calling for a three and a half teaspoons of baking powder. So I am going to do seven. So that's six and then that's seven. All right, so now we're gonna take it and we are going to sift all of those ingredients. The sugar is a little bit harder to sift, but that's okay. We're gonna make it work. All right, y'all come look at this. You see that pretty mountain? I know. It's the small things. It's the small things. That sugar is really hard to sift through this though. All right, so sugar, you're just gonna get sprinkles on there. All right, so now I'm just gonna mix all of that together. It's still nice and airy. Okay. Now, I'm just making a well in the center of my mixture. And this is where I'm going to add my flax egg. And then, I'm going to add my milk. Ooh. And lastly, I'm going to add my oil. So it calls for three tablespoons of oil, so I am going to do six. Okay, I'm just gonna go in 
I'm like, my well is gone, but that's okay. <laughs> but I'm gonna go in and stir from the center until it starts incorporating the flour and the liquid ingredients. All right, so now I am going around the edges and getting the flour mixture incorporated into the liquid. That is about done. The last thing I'm going to do is add some vanilla. It doesn't call for it, but I'm adding it anyway. I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla flavoring. Yum, right? Vanilla makes the world go round when it comes to baking. Did you not know that? All right, here we go, mixing that vanilla in. And now we are ready to get baking our pancakes. Let's go. All right, we are ready to put some pancake mix in my cast iron. I'm using, ah, I'm using a ladle <laughs> to help with new pancakes. Alrighty, I'm getting ready to flip the pancakes over. Ooh, nice and golden. Alright, we're taking our first batch out. Yes. Yummy pancakes. Alright, you guys, I'll come back when we're all done with this and I'm going to plate it up. I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, y'all, here are our yummy vegan pancakes. Don't they look delicious? I've been eating the little crumbs and they are good. Try it. We're gonna have leftovers. Thank you guys for coming along with me today while I made these vegan pancakes for my family. You should try it out. You'd be surprised. You know those egg costs, they're up there. So using a flax egg can actually save you some money. Try it. All right, thank you for coming. Click that like button, subscribe, share, and the notification bell. Bye.